Hey guys, how's it going? It's Al. This Wolf Game update has driven the market absolutely insane. They are they have introduced Alpha Game, which is this interim game between like the point of stagnation and nothing and uh where the actual game is going to be. Wolf Game aspires to be kind of like a Farmville on the blockchain. We know all that. I've done three other videos about this. Go check one of them out in including my explanation of what is Wolf Game. I go through all of the white paper and talk about all that stuff. I want to talk about some strategies for Alpha Game. Some people don't have sheep and wolves. What are they supposed to do? Can they take part in this game? They 100% can. We're going to talk about how. And is it beneficial for them to do that based on the prices that are currently on the market? And those prices are going to absolutely change. This is not financial advice. It's just me kind of breaking things down and thinking out loud about where things are in this game right now. So I hope that you guys uh, who are here that are new to the channel really like the, uh, the content. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notifications bell. Let's go. If you guys were interested in taking part in our walled off discord, the Smiz Gang HQ key is right there on OpenSea for you to buy 0.05 Ethereum. That works out to today's price, about $162. We have a great community that we have built over the last four years in Discord. And now we've created an NFT segment where uh, NFT enthusiasts can get together, talk about what's minting on that day, talk about game strategies for games like BYO Pills, Wolf Game, uh, basically everything else that is out there and hot and popping right now in the NFT space. So if you're looking for a group of people, because this space can be somewhat isolating, you, you don't know what's what, we have a group of people that are very enthusiastic about NFTs and uh, it's it's honestly a little bit more of a grown-up type chat than other discords that just get wild and out of control. So 33% of uh, the money goes to people that help me run things, our mods, uh, my editors, and my art department, as well as 34% of all the proceeds getting donated to charity. So uh, if you wanted to support a couple of good causes and a, a bunch of great people that work on the channel, go check out the Smiz Gang HQ coin, smizzle.tv slash HQ. So here's where we have the breakdown. So of all the 14 alpha wolves, the alpha eight wolves, they're called the alphas, right? Um, they're going to have a breakdown of the percent of the winnings. Now, a lot of people I think are going to jump on the number one producing team because they want that 20% of the wool. There's 500 million wool that's going to get divvied up. 20% of that is going to go to the winning team. That's 100 million wool. 5% of that wool, 5 million wool, is going to go to uh, the alpha eight. Yeah, it, it, Chad says, AKA $150 million. Yeah, it's a lot of money that they're giving away for this. Inter this is just the interim freaking game. So it's kind of driven people nuts with where things are right now. So you've seen the prices on a lot of different things or assets in this game kind of skyrocket, including the coin. And we're gonna get to that in just a second, the wool coin itself. So the game theory aspect is what we need to concern ourselves with here. So if you wanna split that 95%, of that 20% of that 500 million, get your notepads out because you know you got to do some math here. This is a, a mathy type stream. What if there's of the 4,000 something holders of sheep and wolves and the, you know, the amount of people that also hold wool because 50% of the, the prize pool is going to go to people that uh, accumulate points with their sheep and wolves and another 50% of your allocation is going to get broken down for how much wool you stake because both of those things are important. So Brida Santo came up with uh, how you can figure out what you're going to generate with a tweet that he came out. You have Brida Santo on Twitter. Go check him out. Great follow for Wolf Game uh, if you wanted to. So he's got all this, you know, the fundamentals. This is this. Calculate your sheep and wolf points, right? So uh, a sheep generates 50 per day per asset. So if you have 10 sheep, that's 500 points per day. Uh, alpha five wolves, generation zero or one will generate 250 points per day. It's behind my head. So like you can kind of see it, I guess. 360 for A6s, 490 for A7s. There's right now one player named Corey, and he's got a ton of sevens and sixes. And I think that he is going to be the guy that people are going to flock to for first place. But the problem is, If you generate 
you know, if you're splitting with a ton of people, it's probably better to be in this mid range and be on the fifth, sixth or seventh place team. Cause you'll actually get about the same amount and possibly more. Uh, if everybody flocks to the first and second place team, Gary V has two of these alpha eight wolves, uh, and he's got a massive following and people are going to jump on his teams because they want to follow him. Uh, a lot of people are already going to just go to Corey cause they don't have to think about it. They know that he's got the biggest wolf holdings and everything else, uh, that go along with his, you know, team that he's going to have. And so a lot of these big wolf holders are going to jump on his team and he's going to rack up a lot of points. The second part of this is what if I don't have any sheep and wolves? How do I take part? Well, as we said before, taking a look at wolf game live real quickly, the price of wool, since I recorded that last video on Sunday, it is now Monday. Did I record that? No, I recorded Saturday afternoon. So like Saturday afternoon I recorded and less than 48 hours since then it was 25 cents was the price of wool. Now it's up to 38 cents. That's jumped. The floor on sheep has jumped. The floor on wolves has skyrocketed with alpha six gen zeros at 22 for a floor, 38 for the alpha sevens. Farmers have gone up, land have gone up, wool pouches have gone up, even though they're not incorporated in this segment of the game. But I want to focus for a second on if you don't have anything here and maybe you don't have, you know, one Ethereum, how can I get in for like 0.5 Ethereum? Well, that answer is the price of wool, which has gone up, which you can then stake, even if you don't have a sheep or wolf, at least right now with the way that things are going, right? They may change those rules that you have to own a sheep to be able to do that. They, that's not in the white paper right now. You could jump in and just stake wool. And as Brida Santo kind of points out, this is from yesterday. So these prices are not the same, right? Uh, as I showed you over here on Wolf Game Live, right? So the price of wool is 38 cents. When he made this tweet, the price of wool uh, was less, right? So 21,000 wool you could get for 1.8 Ethereum, which was the floor of a sheep, 1.8 Ethereum. But one sheep only gets you 0.06% of the points rewards pool. But if you spent that same amount of money on acquiring wool, you would have a larger proportion of the rewards pool. I believe it was around 29 cents. So this, the calculus has changed a little bit here, right? The calculus has changed a little bit here with wool price going up. But at the time that he posted this, which was last night at 8.41 PM, it's 14 hours since then, right? Or 13 change. The same amount of money spent on wool gave you three and a half X the yield at the current prices. Do the calculus again, do the math again, figure out because this is on YouTube and it's gonna be like kind of on demand that people are gonna watch it. And the price of sheep and wolves are always gonna be fluctuating and so is the price of wool. But like it has just completely skyrocketed because based on when this tweet was made, the fair market price of wool to balance out the price of one floor sheep and the same amount of money spent or same amount of Ethereum spent on acquiring wool would have meant that the price of wool would have had to have been well over a dollar for that to even out. Roughly like a dollar and 20 cents or a dollar 22 cents. So this arbitrage opportunity still exists with wool sitting right now at time of recording at about 39 cents. So if you have like 0.2 Ethereum, you're like, look, I want to take part a little bit in the game. I don't want to spend two Ethereum on a sheep. This would be your entry point. That other thing that we had talked about, I think that I could easily, with the with the amount of sheep and wolves that I have, and I have a lot of sheep and wolves, like we know that I have like five uh, alpha six gen zeros, I have one alpha seven, I have nine different sheep, I have a lot of wool on hand as, what, as well, uh, what I can claim from my wool pouches. It would be very easy for me to just say, you know what, I can just jump on the team that I think is going to win and ride it out. But if there's like 5,000, if there's 3,000 people out of the five to 6,000 people that are going to take part in this part of the game, I assume with new people grabbing wool just to take part and try and get their share. Would I get less by splitting with 3000 people on the number one team? Or what if there's like 500 people or 300 people or 600 people on like six or seven with the amount that I have, because your payout is going to be directly correlated to how much you contribute to your team. So if my contribution to a team is like 8% of the money, 
or 8% of the points that they get, and therefore I get 8% of the money, kind of like a chip chop in poker, right? When you get down to the end, you're like, okay, let's split the prize pool. We're going to do it based on the percentage of chips that you have. That's kind of what this uh, works out to, back from my, my poker days. So it is probably more worthwhile unless things just don't work out this way. But human nature is going to be, I want to be on the first place team and not overthink this. The game theory angle is going to be, I want to get to getting the most for myself. And the most for yourself means staking wool, staking your wolves and sheep, and getting yourself to a point where like you can earn the most. And it it's very possible that earning a larger share of a smaller point, right? Is going to be more beneficial right? Like usually I think that it's more beneficial to own 10% of a watermelon than 50% of a grape, but the differences in payouts aren't all that much different, right? So first place, yeah, they're going to get 20%. That's a hundred million wool, but like fourth place is getting almost 10%. That's 50, that's roughly 50 million wool. What if I get like 12% of that as opposed to 2% of first place? The math is going to work out differently. So like you kind of have to uh, do your own research. I think that there's a lot of game theory involved here. I think that people are going to jump ship and get to a, a higher placing wolf, which is going to leave you, if you fall into this, like maybe third place to seventh place, that may be optimal if there is way too much traffic on first and second. But the other side of that is, right, to be the dude from Princess Bride, I clearly can't choose the wine in front of you. If everybody is thinking that way and the third through ninth place teams are overpopulated, then obviously getting that lion's share at first or second place is going to be more popular. But I think that there's going to be more traffic on the first and second place teams. Gary Vee with his massive uh, audience and uh, Corey with his massive holdings in the game already has himself a great opportunity to come in first. And I think that a lot of people are going to jump on that. But tons of game theory. We don't know what's what. And, and you do have that arbitrage opportunity if you do go after uh, wool. If you don't want to pay for one whole sheep, you can get a whole sheep's worth of points in that game by staking your wool for less cost right now. That could change than the price of a floor sheep. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like on the video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking about how you're going to play this alpha game. Very excited for it to kick off. We don't know the date that it's going to start yet, but when it does, it's going to be wild and uh, woolly. Bye! He's a legend.